Espresso coffee tastes mighty good. That's not the reason why I gotta get back up to that sugar shack. Hey everyone, Jim Tedesco here from Millennium County Railroad version 2.0. And today we're gonna do a build. <laughs> Remember the post office I told you I got a couple of days ago? Well, we're going to go ahead and build it. So, I don't know if there will probably be several parts to this because I don't want to drag these videos out too long. We'll try and keep them down to about 15 minutes each. So, we're going to go ahead and start with part one. That's the general assembly of this uh, laser cut wooden post office series. Stay tuned. Alright, well here we are. We've got the camera in place. We've got the parts scattered out. And there's quite a few pieces here. We're not going to be messing with a lot of this stuff right off. But, right off the bat we've got to glue up the sides. We have four sides, so that's going to be the first part of the project. Now, there's no real per, uh, instructions here per se. So basically, we just have to look at the pictures where it's put together. And it's sort of self-explanatory. Like the three window panels, there's two of them. They're the sides. And looks like the garage door, an entry door, is going to be the back wall. And the cool thing about these is, See that here? They're toothed. They interlock together. And they do, well, they sort of just fit right in there, I think. <laughs> I'll tell you what we probably should do. Move all this stuff out of the way here. And bring out the handy dandy metal tray. <laughs> this thing really comes in handy, let me tell you. I'll just go ahead and put that there. And that trues it up pretty good. So now that we've got it lined up, can we see that in the camera? Not really. There we go. Now we've got these two pieces here, so we're going to take a little bit of wood glue, which I thought I had. There is some here. Right here. We're going to use the back of this worn out piece of sandpaper. I can't believe I got glue all over myself. <laughs> Yeah, well, I guess it can't be sloppy. What's the point, right? Now we're going to get a little dab of glue. And we're going to put some right in there on the joint. Alright, well, what I've got here is, is a micro brush. First time I've ever used one. And we're spreading the wood glue in there. Making sure we have a nice tight fit. And we'll let that set up to dry. So we'll pause the camera for a minute, let that dry up, and then I'll get the next wall piece in. So hang in, I'll be right back. Okay, it's been a few minutes, so we're going to... Well, hey, these are some strong magnets on these things. If you lay the magnets down, they're not quite as powerful, and they, you can move them around a lot easier. Alright, so now we're going to need the front part of the building, which is going to go like so. We 
get this to interlock in here. Get our model micro brush. Get more glue in there. This thing is amazingly easy to, to uh, put together. I tell you, for 20 bucks, it wasn't a bad deal. I guess we can put the other side wall in now, too. By the way, when you're doing this, there is a front and a back. The back is smooth and the front's got like a brick pattern on it. So when we go to paint it, we want to make sure we have that, that brick pattern displayed properly. All put together, squared up, everything looks good. Let's get some of that glue in there. All right. Make sure we're all good and tight and locked in, which we are. And now we can just let that dry. So. Yeah, they don't give you any, any windows material or anything like that, so I have some of that stuff, so I'll be utilizing my own, but because they give you they give you the window frames. Which are kinda cool. I'll have to be painted a different plus a door. And a big garage door too. So I'm gonna have to install my own uh, tinted windows on this. Get locked in over here. Alright. Well, I guess for the moment, we'll let this dry. And then we'll pick up, uh, we'll pick it up again in another hour or so. I'll, I'll let it dry, and we'll turn the camera back on and complete part one. So hang in there. I'll be back in a bit. All right, I'm back. Got about an hour to dry here, so it's not completely dry. I'm supposed to do it overnight, but it is dry enough to handle it. So what I did was on the very front. You can see that. Where well, the blue tape is, is, is an embossed post office. Well, I want to I want to repaint that. Yeah, because we're going to be painting the whole building a different color. So I wanted to cover up the uh, the whole post office sign that's built in, and we'll use the micro brushes to just do the letters, and use the beige background, which will be fine. So that's done right now. And while I was doing that, I went ahead and I cut out a piece of styrene. And the thing's going to sit on it. What I did was I taped the inside. So we're going to have a makeshift floor. And 
and hopefully I'll be able to get the tape off. <laughs> There we go. So now we've got an actual white floor. The way this is going to, orientation is like so. In front of the post office. We'll sit over that and I'm going to Probably take a marker and make, we'll have a white floor, but it'll look like tiles. So that'll be kind of cool. And we're also going to put an interior in this, too. Because uh, it's going to be lit up, and we're going to try and get some realism out of it. Because pretty much, basically, it's not much. <laughs> so, I already painted, I painted all the, uh, the frames and the window frames and the door frames. I painted those in alum co aluminum color. I'm going to do the garage door and the back door in white. And I don't know if I'm going to use this floor section here because let's see, I, I have to move this over here a minute. We'll set this over here for now. We go back to the instructions, if you want to call them that. And you'll see right here, it has like a front deck with a fence. We're not going to use that because we already have a platform that it's going to set on. So we're just not going to waste our time with this. I thought it looked kind of cheesy anyway. So, but that's the whole point of these models. That's what makes them so cool. You can customize them the way you want. So I'm going to turn the camera off again. I'm going to go set up the paint booth. And we're going to go ahead and airbrush this. And I'll be back in a minute to do just that. Okay, I've got it in a spray booth. I don't know how well you're going to be able to hear me because the spray, spray booth's a little loud. It's kind of a necessity. I've got some white or uh, dark tan paint mixed up. We're going to go see how it looks. Thank you. 
anyway, it came out pretty good. So you've got the nice brick texture, but it's got a different color to it. So instead of doing the conventional red or burgundy, I thought I'd do something a little different. So we're going to go ahead and let that dry. I'm going to paint, I'm going to clean the airbrush. I'm going to pause the camera again. And uh, we'll be back in a bit. Alright, we're back. Paint's good and dry. What I've got to do is I've got to get that blue tape off of there. It's not blue anymore. <laughs> and let's see, what's the best thing you need? Oh, I know what I can use on that. I could probably use an exacto knife too, but these push pins will probably do less damage. Let's see if we can get that puppy off of there. Coming. There we go. Perfect. I need to get off my finger. As you can see right here. And what I'll do is later on, I'll take a micro bus brush and I'll paint just the letters since they're raised. Probably do them black. That worked out pretty good. Okay, so I think for the moment, let's see, we'll set this on here just to see what it looks like. All right, well, I think that's all we're going to do for part one. And we'll be back uh, probably tomorrow for part two. And we'll get more done. So be sure to. Join me again for part two, and we'll continue on with the building of the laser-cut wooden post office. Thanks, guys, and remember, like and subscribe if you're not already. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again real soon, like tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.